Hey Cougars, in this video, we're going to walk through solving logic problems for beginners. So what are logic problems? Why are they? So a real scientist or engineer looks to solve problems and discover truths about the world, but the answers aren't right there waiting for you. So oftentimes we have to put a little piece of evidence here and a little piece of evidence there and put all the clues together to make a picture of what's going on. Part of that thinking process involves a process of elimination, a process of asking questions of connecting ideas, building a puzzle. And so that's what we're gonna do is we're gonna practice some of the skills of that kind of thinking by solving some problems. Here's kind of the rules for solving one of these problems. First, you should read the statements of evidence before you do anything, read all of them. You're gonna place a checkbox in a box that matches two different items as belonging together. And I'll show you an example in a second. Place X's in the boxes where two different items do not belong together. Only one item can match up with another item. Pick statements with obvious clues and mark a check in the box that matches clues together. You're gonna to put X's in all the boxes in the row and column of the check. So let's take, what do I mean by that? So first we're gonna have a problem. So Dan, Ann, and Caleb are making different observations in science class. You are trying to figure out, Let's see, you're trying to sort out who did what so you can present their information for the rest of class. Dan, Ann, and Caleb, they made these measurements and we're trying to figure out who did what. And we've got these statements that tell us this. So what we're going to do is let's follow the steps. Let's read these statements first. So Dan's measurement was in meters. Caleb had the same numbers as Ann. Ann used a stopwatch to make her measurement. Okay, so. There are multiple ways to do this. I'm gonna do it one way, and I'm gonna do it first by just going down each item at a time and then working through it, and then hopefully you'll see what I'm talking about. So Dan's measurement was in meters. So Dan made a measurement in meters. So he could have done this one, and he could have done this one, but that means his measurement was not this one. Caleb had the same numbers as Ant. So, the only numbers that are the same are 10 and 10, 10 meters and 10 seconds. So Ann and Caleb are probably gonna to be together, but what does that mean? That means that Dan also, Dan wasn't in that group, okay? So I'm not sure if that tells us anything. So let's keep reading. Ann used the stopwatch to make her measurement. Okay, so Ann used the stopwatch to make her measurement. Well, that means Ann is the only one that had to measure a time. So when I place a check, we know that Ann belongs to 10 seconds and she cannot belong to anything else. So we're gonna mark X's because she cannot have 10 meters, she cannot have five meters. And if Ann has 10 seconds, then Dan cannot have 10 seconds. Caleb cannot have 10 seconds. So there's only one check per row, per column. All right, now this is actually pretty easy because Ann used to stop what she got 10 seconds. Caleb had the same number as Ann so he had 10 meters, so we can mark the X's here. And then we can see that Dan has only one option to check. So then we could go and we could actually fill out the answer here. We could say that Dan had the five meter observation, Caleb had the 10 meters, and then Ann had the 10 seconds. Okay, so that is our final answer. And that's what we're gonna be looking for now. Let's go back. So once we mark a check, it, that person can only have that value. So let's take a look at another way to do this. Another way to do this is we, Dan's measurement was in meters. So you could actually mark like a question mark, question mark, but we knew it wasn't 10 seconds. Caleb had the same numbers as Ann. Well, that meant that Dan was the only one who did not have the same number as anybody else, which meant he had to have five. So I could know that right away. And now it's just a matter of reading the last one. Anne had used a stopwatch. And then that leaves Caleb at 10 meters. So there's multiple ways to do it, but the number one thing that you have to realize is you can only put one check per row, per column, 